So I'm going to talk about DNA barcoding the freshwater communities at the Fresh Kills uh, former landfill. And this is actually the largest uh, landfill to park transformation in the whole world. So this park is 2,200 acres, so it's a really vast area. And it was uh, being transformed from a complete literal garbage dump, trashed place. So it's very interesting to me. So just to give you an overview of my talk, first I'll talk a little bit about uh, conservation biology, ecology, and how that relates to DNA barcoding. Then give you some more background on fresh kills. And then focus on DNA barcoding and the DNA subway program and how we're using this program to barcode uh, what's in this former landfill. And then what our next steps are, which are very exciting to use this next generation sequencing technology to uh, do environmental DNA, to look at ponds all over Staten Island and just do meta barcoding. So expanding this to a huge scale and seeing how we can use this to assist park management. Oops. <laughs> Okay, th this is a little bit uh, troublesome. So to quote Dave Miklos, uh, an integrated DNA uh, barcoding experiment illustrates the modern synthesis of in vitro biochemistry with in silico bioinformatics and provides an opportunity to merge molecular genetics with ecology and conservation. So I was very happy to see this quote in the abstract because it really helped me get to where I want to go where you can see that this is an undergraduate student working um, on DNA sequencing. And then here you see students in the field uh, working at Fresh Kills, which is a globally important site for conservation biology, uh, and getting the data which will then uh, be taken over to the lab. And when we were talking about hooks and entry points and how to get students involved in this complicated genetics, just going out into the field in their local community and knowing that they have a globally important site, as you can see here, has